Greenwood, Mississippi, August 1938. I love this music. So chill. What on earth? Is it only him that can hear this? Like a werewolf or something. Are they gonna plan to a full moon? What your guitar? Get a doctor. Run! Dogs, black dogs. Run! Black dogs. Robert, don't you down me! Back to the present. So much for a low profile. You got a warrant in St. Louis, and now you're officially in the Fed's database. Architect Sean Boyden plummeted to his death from the roof of his home. The authorities are a little confused as to how a wild dog could get past the doorman, take the elevator up, and start roaming the halls of the cushiest joint in town. Some say they're animal spirits, others say death omens. But anyways, whatever they are, they're big, nasty. Man, I bet they could hump the crap out of your leg. Look at that one, huh? <laughs> what, they could? He's a flat-out genius. I mean, I'm capable, but next to him, uh... It wasn't always that way either. There was a time where he couldn't even design a pup tent. Hell, 10 years ago, he's working as a bartender at this place called Lloyd's. So, so what it's changed? like, got me. if they're gifted but overnight, with something, he gets this huge commission, then they're haunted. Because that guy could play the guitar really well. Maybe they made deals with someone to get the talent. You mean Carly's MySpace address? Yeah, MySpace, what the hell is that? Seriously, is that like some sort of porn site? MySpace, God, I remember that well. I was almost starting to think the doctor was imagining things, but she's not like that, so... You know, I read she was a uh, chief surgeon at the hospital. An yep, she's gifted as well. Years ago. Lloyd's Bar. They're all linked to, linked to that bar. You need to vacate the room or you gotta pay for another night. Okay, no problem. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell was that? Two people become sudden successes about 10 years ago, right around the time they were hanging out here at Lloyd's. Where well, there just happens to be a crossroads, you think? Let's find out. You'd be willing to bet that's graveyard dirt. He was to summon a demon. Not just summon one. Crossroads are where packs are made. These people are actually making deals with the damn thing. Through the window. I called it and I still jumped. Rituals like this, you gotta put your own photo into the mix, right? So, this guy probably summoned the thing. We'll go see if anyone inside knows him. Hmm. Look at that. No gloves? Yes, again? Remember pepper? I call that thing! I brought it on myself. I know this as well. I brought it on them. Yeah. I'm going to hell, one way or another. Instead of swimming in self-pity, go and try and fix it. Time you went, go help somebody that wants help. We can't just get out. I got work to do. Rude. So this is Evan, I'm guessing. Evan, you're spying on the neighbors? Of course not. I'll miss you. Better. He's saying his goodbyes because he knows what's coming. You know I love you, right? Of course. Evan, are you okay? Yeah. Obviously not okay. Hey, sweetie. Oh, crap from hell. I love you too. That might be the worst one yet. That was like something out of the ring. Hey, we're here to help you. We know all about the genius deal you made. Can you stop it? Don't know. We'll try. I don't want to die. Of course you don't. Not now. Dean, stop. What'd you ask for anyway, Ev? Huh? Never need Viagra, bowl a perfect game, what? My wife. <laughs> right, getting the girl. Well, that's worth the trip to hell for. Dean, stop. He's right, I made the deal. Julie was dying. I was thinking it and I never said it out loud. Damn it. You did it to save her? She had cancer, so yeah, I made the deal. feel pretty shitty about your remarks now. Do you ever think about her and all this? I did this for her. You sure about that? Maybe not. I think you did it for yourself. But what if she knew how much it cost? What if she knew it cost your soul? How do you think she'd feel? Okay, that's enough. Oh, Dean. Relating it back to his dad there, isn't he? You all right? Why wouldn't I be? Because he knows how 
his wife's gonna feel because it happened to him. You know, you've been on edge ever since we found that crossroads, Dean, and I think I know why. Yeah, we don't have time for this. Dad. Here we go. You think maybe Dad made one of these deals, huh? Well, kind of did. It fits, doesn't it? I'm alive. Dad's dead. Yellow-eyed demon was involved. What if he struck a deal? My life for his soul. Dean, go! Oh, those scenes. They do them so well. You called me. I know all about you, Dean Winchester. I want Evan Hudson released from his contract. Oh, really? What are you offering? Me. Like father, like son. Okay. Can you bring him back? My dad. Of course I can. How? When they That's a promise. Burn the body and everything? Me. I could give you ten years. Ten long, good years with him. Don't you dare. Oh, we put it there as well. Clever. Dean? Now you're really trapped. Majestati, Gloria Tua. Supercamps. Going away this. Is it? Infernali. Spirit Tua. Wait! What the hell was that for? Stealing the deal. You would have never pulled that stunt if you knew. Knew what? Where your dad is. You should have made that deal. See people talk about hell, but it's just a word. It doesn't even come close to describing the real thing. Shut your mouth, bitch. You can see your poor daddy, hear the sounds he makes because he can't even scream. But I send you back there. <laughs> How did I get here? <sighs> Demons lie all the time, right? Maybe she was lying. Come on. Is that really what you think? How many people do you think Dad saved? That's not the point, son. Evan Hudson is safe because of what Dad taught us. So we gotta keep going. For him. You're gonna try and make it their mission to get him out of hell? He never considered actually making that deal, right? Dean. Of all you doing yet again. Doing what he does best. Okay, so quick recap from that episode. That was season two, episode eight. Majority was Monster of the Week, but we did have a couple of really heavy emotional scenes there. I think Dean was definitely projecting his own feelings onto Evan in that scene because the way he said that just think about how your wife feels was literally what he was feeling because his dad made that deal as well. It's worrying me the fact that he's contemplating taking a deal to get the dad back so I'm wondering now if that's going to be a plan of theirs moving forward. Well a plan of Dean's at least. I think Sam has got his head screwed on and he's focusing on the good rather than the bad. But again it's not his burden that he's bearing it's all on, all on Dean there. But yeah that's that's pretty much it with this episode. The The raw emotional scenes were brilliant. They do them so well and I love when they do them. And I found the whole hellhounds thing quite interesting as well. I was convinced it was going to be werewolves at the beginning there. But I like this twist and obviously making a deal with the devil brings everything back to what John did for Dean. So I do, I do like the links that were, were made in this episode. But recap wise, there's nothing more I can really go into right now. So I'll probably end up watching the next one soon. If you like this video, give it a cheeky thumbs up and subscribe, you know, if you want to. There's no pressure here. Bye guys.